Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here, back with you today from Subnautica. How y'all doing today? And is it me or are the controls inside Gumbo just jiggling? Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. So we are here on the Cyclops, where we are going to start today's adventure. Powering up. So we're going to take Max out, and we're going to put the Cyclops to use. Hauling Gumbo around, looking for strange plants floating in the sky, uh, hitting the submarine. Anyway, yeah, we're going to be looking for mineral deposits that we can harvest, and we know we found some good ones over in the mushroom biome. So we're going to head over there. And see what we can find. What is floating over here? Oh, that's a. Uh, that's those. Whatever you call them. Floaters. Yeah. Holding a rocket. I think we're going the right way. Alright, so we've made it over here to the floating islands. And we know there's bone sharks galore out here, but I just saw a. You see it right there. Little uh, crate to be looked upon. Now, I really don't want to take him, take Gumbo out because, as you can see, it's a little bit deep, and uh, I don't know that Gumbo can get back up because we haven't got the uh, the line yet that helps him get up. But I do want to get out there and go scan that. So we're gonna have to brave the bone sharks. With Erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Shut up, Nagatha. So we have nothing but our sea glide and our blade. So let's go make this happen. I think we already have this. Yep, we do. That was a total waste of time and effort. And we know the bone charts sh sh sharks, you know, will attack Max. You know, but we're gonna kind of stay away from them. We're not trying to get over there and mess with them too much. Um, let's see, we know mushrooms is towards the front of the aurora. This looks like a great parking spot. There, that should be no problem to release and get back into. Engine powering down. Gumbo. Oh yeah, easy peasy. We see a salt deposit. We don't really care about that. Oh, lots of salt deposits. Lots and lots of salt deposits. Hey, if anybody needs some salt, uh, I will get out and scan this because we can definitely use the titanium. Remember, we used so much of it in the last episode. Big stupid. I want to drill that. Ha <laughs> ha, now you did. Oh, look at you over here, stupid. Now you did.
get it. Oh, I'm enjoying this way too much. Ha. Be able to swim in here and nobody's going to bother us. Pick it up. Thank you. Oh, look, another one. How you doing, stupid? Now you did. This thing is just a resource gathering machine, let me tell you. Guys, here's what we were looking for. Now, I don't think we'd scan this, but there's just a big old. How you doing? Big old thing of lithium. So you might wanna might wanna step away. It's daddy. Wants some lithium. Oh boy, you're gonna you're, you're you're gonna get hurt. This is not the place for you. Seems like an inordinate amount of drilling just to get a little lithium. Does it not? just kind of gets sucked up into you. That's interesting. So if we look in Gumbo's pouch. Yeah, we see quite a bit of lithium. That's awesome. As you remember, lithium's always been one of those elements that's been a little challenging for us. Let's see what else we can find. Alright, we found some what looks to be copper, I'm guessing? Yeah. So, same deal. I do like the way it looks when it's drilling, but uh, it is a lot of drilling for not a lot of resources, I gotta say. Oh, it looks like you get two copper for each one. Oh, no, that was just one. Is it, like, variable? Oh, sorry. Sorry, little peeper. Let's see what we got. What kind of a haul we got. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. 
So you definitely want to work on increasing your storage for your prawny suit. If you're going to come out and do resource gathering like this. You know, drilling out those bigger nodules of stuffs. Well, that's a bad day for you. Ooh. This is the first one of these we found. Time capsule. How much inventory I got? Oh, we're good. Remember, these are goodies left by other people who beat the game. What did they leave us? Prawn suit depth module MK2, very nice. Prawn suit thermal reactor, good. Drill arm, it's interesting we're in the prawn suit. Two, well another thermal blade, we've already got that. But that is definitely cool, that MK2, we will definitely use that bad boy. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in. You guys tell me, is it cheaty to use? because we didn't make it ourselves. We got it from someone else. I'm gonna put it in, but if you guys... I am the captain. But you guys tell me, if it's cheaty, we'll take it out. I don't know, it's, I'm kinda of torn, because it's in the game, so it's kinda of not cheaty, but it's a little cheaty. Maybe we'll make one anyway down the road, but we'll use this one now. I don't know, you guys let me know. This does take us up to 1,700 meters, which, boy, the howdy, that's deep. Uh, so we can go a long way down with this bad boy. Hello, copper. I don't think we had much space left. How much space we got left? Uh, yeah, not much space. So maybe we'll take him back. unload and then uh, progress forward because uh, there are some other things I wanted to do today but I definitely wanted to see what the drilling was like because we didn't get to do much of that last time I don't even think we had the drill arm if I remember right pick it up pick it up grab it thank you uh, see I want to say we didn't do any drilling last time except for maybe on fish so you know being able to actually get out and drill some nodes is pretty cool Ooh, do we have this egg I don't know if we have this egg better take it anyway I wish we could get that a little closer to the wall. It's about the best we can do. I don't like that it hangs over, but I love that we can sleep the night away in our swim fins, because, you know, that's the best way to sleep, is with your swim fins on. Uh, uh, nice night, Max. Okay, so. Apparently this is daytime. Engine. Powering up. I don't think I have his, uh, yeah, I don't have his headlights on. I see Koosh. I know there's a bad ombre over here somewhere. So we want to be a little bit careful. Oh, he's right it's there. You see nothing. So angry. 
if I get out and try to scan him, will he kill me? I really want to try. And what happens if you stab him with a knife? Betty doesn't like it. Maybe we do that with a sea moth. Hmm, I see a wall over here. I see a vent over there. Let's go silent. So he won't see us or hear us, more importantly. Is this near the island? I bet this is near the island. Ooh, what is that? Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Better switch to cams because we're going to run into stuff. stuff is down here. Oh. Let's not get in too bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's turn you out of silent running. Engine powering down. And power you down. He shouldn't bother us with this power down. He might try to bother this. And I don't know if we're tough enough to smash him with our drill, but we'll definitely try if he wants to get rowdy with it. So what is this? I can't do anything with you. No. You're just rocks in the road. You want to go? Let's, let's do this thing. Diamonds! He doesn't seem to be bothered by us. At least not way down here. There's some more uranium. Come, buddy. Come on. I'm telling you, let's do this thing. Big wuss. You just all noise. So if you don't know, these things are stupid hot. So, uh, you know, it's not a good idea to be out swimming around it. But being here in this suit, you're pretty okay. Oops, I shifted my mouse. Get out of the way, stupid. There's definitely lots of good resources. I wish I had some torpedoes. Did I bring my torpedo arm? Or did I leave it at I think I left it at home. Oops. Look how the cool that looks. telling you, you want to go. I'll bring the pain. We will find out who wins. Come 
on, buddy. You just all noise. Look, I am attempting green target. You want some? Oh, he killed him. We straight up killed him. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Nope, he's still mad. He's still mad. I don't know if he's killable. He definitely hurt us. He's definitely still alive. Stupid. Well, it's good to know we can't win that fight. I don't know that those guys can be killed. I mean, it would be super cool. Now he's all over here by Max. Huh. Oops, I missed. I missed again. Oh, here he comes. Stupid. Stupid. Welcome up. Woo. That Just was a uh, that was a little intense. to repair that. That out of our inventory. Can we repair gumbo from here? No. Can we go downstairs and repair gumbo? But no. So we pretty much have to. Hey, you always get stuck on these little ramps. Huh. Whoa, he just shot off like a crazy person. Y'all see that? What the crapola? There is something over here. So we must be near the island. Let's do a little breach and see. Oh yeah, we are. Look at that. That means there's a wreck like right down in there somewhere we need to go look at. Not necessarily a wreck, but there's definitely some good resources and things. So that's the, that's the guy we saw in our last episode. But that's good. This is where we want to be anyway. Let's head over here. The 
look at this cool place. Isn't there a, uh, isn't there an entrance into this thing? Wait, wait, wait. Isn't there a way to turn the lights on? Oh, the camera lights suck. Warper. Let's get it. Oh, I was in silent running. No wonder the cameras weren't working. Or the lights weren't working. Duh. Oh, we're going to have to come in straight on till morning to get to fit this big old boy in there. If we dump gumbo out, like right in here, we should be able to. Oops. Engine powering down. We should be able to use gumbo to walk around. Nice. All right. Well, we were almost on the ledge, but we. We weren't, so we're okay. Stupid. Come here, stupid. Anyway. Reach! The reason being... Are they above the surface? What is with you guys? Y'all swimming through the sand. Uh, the reason we want to have gumbo up here is because there's some hombres up here that don't like us much. And I'm sure gumbo would love to say hi. little jump ability is not great on land. He struggles. Rides the struggle bus. Uh, yeah, but he's also got basically... Yeah, see, we've got these guys here. Oh, he did. Too bad. He's also got lights, which are super helpful. You hey, little disease plague critter. Get dead. I just want to be careful not to get him into some place he can't get out of. Uh, but it is super nice to have the... The uh, lights and the... Invulnerability to those little creepy crawlies. Oh, now it's daytime. We can see better. Oh, sorry, you, you did. I'm gonna step on you. And I know he can't get through a lot of the caves and stuff on this island. Hello, purple tablet. I shall take you. Yeah, and like this little path might be a little too narrow for his big booty. And we definitely don't want him falling down in there. We know there's a Leviathan in there. And we know he can't handle a Leviathan. Well, I guess he can. He did fine. I mean, he took two rides with it, right? We should probably... That's so funny. He squats down like that. How cute. Uh, we should give him a little uh, repair love while we're thinking about it. So let's see what we can do with this space. Ooh. We 
we got a purple tablet. Oh. Uh, huh? He's got a purple tablet. I will take you and unload all this into you. You stay. This structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. We can assume that the aliens were about the height of Gumbo here because he walks around nicely in their space. We look like little miniature things. Unknown language. Attempting translation. He might be a little tall. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. How did Nagatha know that the control room was further down? Where did she get that info from? I don't think we can take the prawn suit down there. I don't know if we can or not. I'm kind of half tempted to try it. Uh, let's go! Mystic elevator with sparkly fireflies. Very cool. So this is the pool we could have parked the sub in. It's definitely big enough to park the sub in. Would be nice to have the prawn suit. Oh, hello. I will take you. Super weapon. Give me. Can I have one? Alright, so there's an around and there's an up. Let's do the around. Ooh. Alien gate. Nothing to scan. Okay, it's just kind of here. Ooh, 
what are you? Alien device. Looks cool. We'll step back. Okay. It reminds me of uh, 323 Guilty Spark from Halo. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Well, then we shall purple tablet it up. Presented with a big green button. You push the big green button, of course. Wait, hold up. No, 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 no. You go away. Ow. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Okay, well. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Great. Just great. Totally infected on some creepy alien planet with creepy aliens doing creepy alien things. Fish want to murder my face. But I get to ride the cool elevator. What you got him in? It's pretty dang cool. What's up, Gumbo? Welcome aboard, Captain. Dang straight on the captain. Good to know, Max. How you doing? Oh, look at all these delicious things. So much good stuff. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good. No good without the bad. Engine. Sounds Power like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. So the sunbeam's coming to rescue us. We found a crazy alien facility that stabbed our arm and told us we were no good because we have nasties in our body. And then we found out we have nasties in our body. So, you know, hey, it's been a good day. Uh, we got to take Gumbo out and uh, collect a ton of resources. I think I'm going to head those back to the base. That's just a cool looking building, isn't it? I really do like it. And there's our, our busted up ship.
man, look at that poor thing. Let's switch over to Conning Tower. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh my goodness. It's seen a better day, hadn't it? Look at that beautiful moon. Anyway, guys, I sure do appreciate y'all coming to hang out with me, as always, as we check out some more Subnautica. Until next time, guys, y'all get out there and make some noise. See ya.